What's up guys and welcome to the hottest mid-range phone comparison of 2022, the Nothing Phone 1 versus the Google Pixel 6a. Flagship chip and a flagship camera or a smoother display, sexy glyph design, let's take a deeper dive. Design-wise, the Google Pixel 6a retains its look from the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, while the Nothing Phone 1 has an all-new translucent look with the glyph interface. While I like the green sage color of the Pixel 6a and the two-tone finish, the Nothing Phone 1 takes the cake, it's just so pretty, plus it has wireless charging, which is something you don't get on the 6a. The display is another area where it's tough to beat the Nothing Phone 1, as the Phone 1 has a much better looking screen with slimmer bezels, and it's coming at 120Hz refresh rate, while the 6a just has a 60Hz 6.1 inch 1080p OLED panel. Because of this, despite the Pixel 6a having a flagship tensor chip, the Phone 1 just feels smoother and quicker with its Snapdragon 778G Plus and 120Hz screen. Now is Pixel 6a a choppy phone like some people are saying? Well, hell no. The Pixel 6a is an optimized phone, it runs Twitter lag free which not even my S22 Ultra can do, it's just that 60Hz panel which is making everything appear slow. Now when it comes to the fingerprint scanner performance, both phones are having an optical scanner and in my usage, the Phone 1 has a tad bit quicker and a bit more consistent fingerprint scanner performance than the Pixel 6a. Now what about software? Well, we have Android 12 on both phones with no bloatware, no ads, it's a clean experience on both phones. There are some unique Google features that make the Pixel 6a special like the Google Live Transcribe, the Magic Eraser and of course faster updates as the Pixel 6a will most likely get Android 13 first than the Nothing Phone 1. Now I really do like the Nothing OS as it's very fast and optimized, the glyph interface on it lets you receive notifications and set different ringtones. Both phones will get three major OS updates so long-term support is going to be strong on both phones. Now so far the Phone 1 is pulling ahead when it comes to design, display and even performance despite the Pixel 6a having that tensor chip but what about camera? Well this is where the Pixel holds the power to flip the whole script. When it comes to general images out of both front and back camera, the Pixel edges out the Phone 1 easy, doesn't matter if if it's wide or ultra wide angle lens, the colors and HDR, everything looks more consistent on the Pixel 6a. In terms of more computational stuff like the portrait mode, the Pixel 6a is just too strong for the phone one to handle. Like in some shots, it's not even a comparison. With Google's computational photography, the Pixel 6a, despite having a 5 year old hardware, can still outperform today's mid range camera sensors. It's hard to beat Pixel 6a when it comes to daylight video performance as it supports 4K 60fps video and more of a consistent exposure. The Nothing Phone 1 can shoot 4K 30 FPS video. Uh, the latest update has improved that exposure pulsing a lot. I couldn't see it in a general bright scene but in this scenario where we have me in a backlit kind of scene and constantly moving you can see that we still have exposure pulsing happening on the phone one while the Pixel 6a is looking very stable. Now when it comes to extreme low light in night mode phone one does catch up because of its newer hardware. Images are very close to the pixel detail wise but night low light video is where you can see a big difference especially when you enable that night video mode on the phone one which bumps the exposure and minimizes the noise. This is a special feature of the Snapdragon 778G Plus chip. Once again, this is an extreme low light performance example. In general, low light video wise, the Pixel 6a could do just fine. But just to show you that the Pixel 6a isn't that bulletproof as you think, the hardware on mid range phones are catching up in low light performance. Overall, still, the Pixel 6a is clearly better than the phone one, and most mid range phones cannot come close to this performance. We have consistent colors in photos and videos, and in general, the portrait mode is probably the best in this price range. Battery wise, both phones can survive throughout the day in my usage but the Pixel 6a may have a slightly better battery life at the cost of 60 hertz which to be honest I wish it was 90 but yeah it is what it is. Overall the phone one seems to be more of a complete package with smoother performance, wireless charging, better design, decent cameras while Pixel 6a has a solid A plus when it comes to camera performance that you can be very confident in if you really want the best camera performance in this price range on Android with the sacrifice of smoothness and especially if in your country the price of Pixel 6a is about the same as the phone one then the 6a may be the phone for you. Let me know what you think about the comparison in the comment section below which phone do you think is the better one if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe.